Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with the One True King. We are glad to have you join us this beautiful Tuesday. As you have noticed, our live stream format has changed a little bit. Instead of having a scheduled Tuesday morning lesson, we are now going to revamp and have a pop-up Bible study live stream on Tuesdays. The same is uh, happening in our Never Alone Singles Ministry, which has also revamped instead of twice a month lessons we are now returning back to once a month lessons it'll be on one monday a month and we will um be having a pop-up live streams so there will no longer be a set start time um because i just Felt like I was supposed to change it up. Um, and so that's the latest news on that. We are going to dive in with Quill and then we will continue on with our series, Fall in Love with Jesus, He Never Leaves. Today, we will be on week two of that series. Let us pray. Holy Father, I invite your Holy Spirit to come. Meet us here, Father God. Seek to hearts, Lord Jesus. Change lives according to your will. Lord, may souls be saved here today. May the gospel fall on open ears and open hearts this morning. Lord Jesus, may you plant seeds this morning. Water them, nourish them, and let them grow, Father God, to produce a beautiful harvest. Because now we're in the season of harvest, Father God. And we can't wait to see the beautiful um, garden of fruit that is going to grow in this new season. This beautiful um garden of flowers that are going to bloom in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. The title of today's lesson as we continue on in our series, Fall in Love with Jesus, He Never Leaves. In week two, which starts this week, is going to be called Relationship We Start. Today's lesson is divided into three sections. We're going to cover all three of them this morning. If you have your Bible, we're going to begin with the Old Testament, the book of Proverbs. Proverbs has lots of wisdom in it. If you ever need wisdom for anything, you can open up the Word of God. And if you turn to the book of Proverbs, you'll see a bunch of different Proverbs that were written. Um, and you'll receive wisdom and knowledge. So we're going to start with Proverbs 16, verse 24. But stay at chapter 16. Because then we're going to um, go back a few verses to verse 18. But we're in the same chapter. So I'm reading from New International Version. And we're starting with chapter 16, verse 24. Gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and healing to the bones. I'll read that again in case 
you are coming on late and you didn't catch that scripture. Proverbs 16, 24. Gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. How many of you growing up ever had a popular a popular cereal called honeycomb? There was a slogan it was known by. You would see it on the um commercials. You remember what it said? Honeycomb's got a big big bite. Does your relationship with Christ need a restart? Proverbs 16 verse 18 says, Pride goes before pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Jesus, the one true king, desires that we create a list of goals to build our relationship with him. You ask, where do I start? My answer is this. That's what you are going to learn today. If you look at the book of, of Ephesians, we'll head it over to the, New Test, to the New Testament now, instead of the Old Testament, where we will. If you look at Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 and it says this for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do now Hang out in Ephesians for a few minutes because we're going to be here for a little while. Um, and we are going to look at Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 16. From him the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love, as each part does its work. Now, if Now I'm going to share with you the instruction manual for building your relationship with Christ. This is the three sections that I was talking about. Section 1, we this Lord. Ephesians 4 verse 32 says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other as in Christ God forgave you. You ask, Sarah, what's the purpose of leading the Lord? When we study scripture, our hearts are transformed to be more like Christ. We walk the walk and talk the talk. Jesus matures us into his disciples. He fills his followers with wisdom and knowledge. Christ guides us step by step. If you look at Matthew 18, 21 to 22, it says this, New International Version. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Verse 22, Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 
section two, the two-way communication of Poyle. How does the two-way communication of Poyle work? Step one, we go before the Father with our requests. Step two, he answers them according to his will. Sometimes it may involve waiting for his plan to fall into place. Jesus understands the deepest cries of our hearts, even when we are unable to form our feelings in the words. He knows. Section 3. Glorifying God through praise and worship. Worship we reflects our hearts and minds. We remember who he is. Praise refocuses our thoughts on Christ. Believers recall, we, believers recall his faithfulness and miracle working power. We bring glory to God through praise and worship. If you have any prayer requests, you may list them in the comment section at this time, and we will gladly pray for you. I will give you a moment to type those in. Um, next week, we will be in week three of this series. If you are in our singles ministry, Monday, we will be having a lesson starting our new series, Fall for Jesus, He Never Leaves. So if you're a single, you don't want to miss that. Um, let us pray. And then I'm going to lead you in uh, the prayer of salvation. <clears throat> I have a couple of prayer requests for you this morning. Um, please pray for, for my ear. I've been having an earache the last few days. And uh, so please pray for God to heal that. And uh, another prayer request is um, an anonymous person is having an eye procedure done Thursday for dry eyes. Um, pray that this procedure is effective and that the eyes will start moisturizing and watering and working the way that they're supposed to so that they'll no longer have dry eyes and that they won't have any side effects or anything from this procedure so let's pray for them holy father i ask you lord that you heal this person's dry eyes lord jesus as they Go through this procedure, Lord Jesus, on Thursday afternoon. I ask you, Lord Jesus, you let this procedure be successful. You let it work, Father God. You let it put the moisture and the fluid back in the eyes, Father God, so that the eyes will, will water and everything the way that you designed them to, Father God. Please, Lord. I pray that they won't have any side effects, any adverse reactions to this procedure, Father God. But let it work. Let this treatment be as successful. Let it be a success story, Father God. Please, God. So that they will no longer be in pain. So that their vision will no longer be impaired. But that they will be healed. 
And please, God, heal my life to heal. In the mighty name of Jesus, heal it. So that I will no longer have discomfort and an earache. Please, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Um, now we're going to have the plan of salvation. If you have never accepted Christ as your personal Savior and you would like to take that step of faith today and make that decision to say yes to Jesus, now is that opportunity to do just that. It will be the best decision that you could ever make. So please, say yes to Jesus today. Repeat this prayer after me. Holy Father, I admit that I'm a sinner and I need a Savior. Forgive me of all my sins. Come into my heart. Be the Lord of my life. I repent of my sins. I ask for your grace to make me a new creation. Lord, your word says if you confess with your mouth, and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. Well, Lord, I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. I believe that 2,000 years ago, he died on the cross and he rose from the grave three days later. He ascended into heaven and he sat down at, at the throne of eternity, in eternity, Lord. He sat down on heaven's throne at the right hand of God the Father. And when he sat down at the right hand of God the Father, he's making intercession for us now, just like he made intercession for us 2,000 years ago. He made a way for us to be saved. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' holy name, amen. If you just prayed that prayer, Welcome to the family of God. We celebrate with you. The next steps will be find a local church near you tomorrow night, Wednesday night, or Sunday morning, or Sunday evening. Let the pastors there know you just got saved. They will have classes, resources, and Bibles, like this one, available for you. Um, they will have Sunday school programs available for you. New believers classes. Ways for you to grow as a disciple of Christ. If you don't have a Bible, you can purchase one at your local uh, Dollar Tree. Or you can purchase one online at the Christian Book Store, or you can, they sell them at grocery stores too. So various ways to uh, get the Word of God in your heart and on your mind. And to memorize it. I pray that y'all have a blessed week. If y'all think of any prayer requests, between now and then, you can always come to Jesus or Intercessor here on Facebook and we will gladly pray for you. Also, um, click the share button on today's Bible study lesson so that more people can hear Christian encouragement. See y'all next Tuesday. Bye.